Hi guys, hi. So today we're going to be talking to at Miss underscore Naima uh, from New York. I'm looking forward to it. She's a calisthenics um, trainer and she, um, I'm not sure um, if she's a personal trainer. I've been watching her page for a few weeks now and I want to find out so much about her. So I'm going to add her now and get to asking some questions, find out about her. Oh, I'm a, I love that you accepted. Let's go. Looking forward to it. Come on, let's go. So yeah, gonna be asking us some questions. Who's Cad? Cad lives. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> can, yeah. I, I, can you I, hear me? Sorry. Oh my god. I didn't I, have my headset on all that time, <laughs> and I was talking to the screen. <laughs> I was talking to the screen about my headset. I wonder if people heard the intro. Oh my god! How are you? Beautiful. How are you? Thank you for I'm having fine. Me. Beautiful. You look That's amazing. Fine. I love your earrings. They're nice. They're nice. All right. So um, today I'm going to ask you a few questions about yourself. I just want to find out a bit more about you for my viewers. Anyone who wants to follow you or join what you're doing, you know, or support you, this is the place to be. So um, I just want you to tell us tell us a bit about yourself. Um, my name is Naima Hurd. I'm from New York. I'm a New Yorker, born and raised. New York. <laughs> I have a four-year-old. I'm an athlete. I've been an athlete my whole life. Did swimming, track, martial arts. Wow. Now, calisthenics. So, my goal is to bring awareness to women all over the world um, of being strong, yet still feminine. Yes. So, um, That's something a about good goal. Like it's like Isn't no it other sport. <laughs> something it about calisthenics is. is like no other sport. It's true. It's true, and you, it's it's really hard on the mental. You have to have a strong mind to be yeah. able to keep pushing. You know what I mean? Like, your training is really intense. Um, how how did you? What was you doing before calisthenics? Was you? How did you get into it? Um. Well. Before I got into calisthenics, I actually went on hiatus for 10 years. Okay. I didn't do any type of sports or training, just the minimum, just to keep my physique. And um, a, two gentlemen that I went to school with, they were in the park, you know, on yeah. the bars. Okay. And I would see their stories, and I'm like, wow, I want to you know, do, do this. Yeah. And one day I got that invite, and um, I wasn't as strong as I thought I was mm. so I didn't like that because I'm always yeah. going to be strong yeah and it's just like a spark went off yeah like I wanted to come back the next day since it was body weight I was able my body was able to recuperate a lot yeah. faster yeah so I was able to get out there and you know I just I just stuck with it I did one competition um was it, really amazed by the work ethics of the the athletes the community yes. was so like inspiring so loving so supportive it, it was very family orientated um mm -hmm. and i had no pull-ups in me it took me two and a half years to get my first pull-up and these people wow. were like really inspired me to like keep going just keep doing and it yeah i just buckled Literally. down and I That's remember good. that I was a swimmer, and mm. I just started training myself, started yeah. eating better, started, um, you know, doing things that were in alignment with me. Because I think mm. when you're in a tune with yourself, you know what's best for you, but you have to really take the time out to know that. And yeah. that's something that you're not going to find from any trainer or, you know, any, anyone is something you got to find within yourself. Yeah, that is so true. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, I've, I've, I'm at that point right now with my training where I've took some time out, a little bit of time out on the training to focus more on getting to know people in my industry. Mm -hmm. And I want to obviously find out more about the people that are in the industry inspiring people out there but I'm getting back into my training and I don't feel the same as I did before I feel like now it's deeper to me like it is something I have to do now for sanity mm -hmm. 
Whereas before it was more fun based. I love that I was so strong. I could do all this stuff. Now I've, t- I've taken it a bit deeper. So yeah, to find alignment, you have to look within. I agree. Yeah. Totally, totally agree. So, um, what, tra- what are you qualified in, in, in swimming? Did you do like qualifications um, in any sports? Are you a personal I, trainer? Um, I actually, at one point when I was about 15, 16 years old, I was actually listed in the top 16 in the world. In wow. The so I was a breaststroker. Um, I swam. My swimming career kept very fast. I went to Vermont one year when I was eight. I almost drowned like four times. I saved uh-huh. myself. I taught myself how to do the basics. Told, told my parents I was wanting to get into swimming. By the age of 10, I was breaking records. And wow. um, Good. I'm a alcoholic, so I just love to train. Now, am I a personal trainer? No, I'm not a trainer. I am a coach. Yeah. I am motivational speaker yes. i'm a healer um I'm a say that again i'm a healer yeah a heal- spiritual healer so i i specialize in the individual because sp- spirituality is about individuality yeah so when you come with me with whatever it is i um just guide you i'm yeah. not here to you're a have guide you me you know, but you know, take take what you what's meant for you. You take the wisdom and knowledge that I have, and you apply it to where where it needs to be. But um, really, just having people to get comfortable with themselves of being comfortable within themselves, because yeah. we all then outside of ourselves and we leave ourselves last. And yeah, I did and that here before mm. we go out here. So when it when that love comes, you know how to appreciate and it and receive it, and also how to give it. You yeah. know, so, yeah. You know, I could listen I'm, to you talk all day. You know, like <laughs> I could, I could just sit here and listen. Like, wow, it's good. So I was gonna. Do you have a mentor yourself, like a manager? Who's the guy that comes with you to the um, competitions? Um, no, I do not. Um, I am solely doing this on myself by myself. Um, my motivation is me. Yeah. The, my daughter, they change yeah. our life. So um, nothing stops me within my passion. Yeah. I've, been a, I've always competed, so I will always compete, but I also am a creative. So the workouts that I create, you guys check out my YouTube channel, um, everything is, I mean, like, intuitively guided through every movement, through every routine. Everything has its purpose. Yeah. Everything connected to the long run. Because when I stepped into this journey, I stepped in it by myself. Uh, because, you know, I'm of age. I'm 37. I'm, se- I'm seasoned. Um, you look good, sis. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! I would That's not have like, guessed that. I thought you was younger than me. No. Wow. Yeah. But See, that's, that's what training does, isn't it? The lifestyle training, you know, with yourself, your mind, body, your soul, mm-hmm. your eating habits, what you watch on TV, what you take in. People are afraid to be like, this is not of me anymore. And we have to learn when to cut those ties and separate those ties. Yeah. Learn extract those wisdoms and move forward mm-hmm. to where you're supposed to go and sometimes we don't know but you just gotta yeah. keep you, you know just gotta keep going yeah and and just keep a positive mindset and like oh. you said eat right think right and make sure the people around you are pushing you towards the, your own goals you know if people don't support you like why are you supporting them it doesn't make sense yeah like not not to be rude, like I always try and be there for people, you know, and use my gift to help people. But if I have to be getting some something myself, and if it's not coming from me and the people around me, then I can't fuel no one else. I can't give no one no energy. I can't, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, um, what do you um, what do you want to achieve from doing calisthenics now? Um, my goal is to make this an Olympic sport. 
Make yes, this- please, please. <laughs> I, if you need any of my help, I don't care. Even if it's just a, a letter, you know, yes. I'm, I'm all for you because <laughs> no. Why is, it not an, why is it not an Olympic sport? It's tough. I don't know um, because it is the fundamentals of all sports. Push it pull. Is. If you look at any sport, the basic, the fundamental, yeah. when you're going to the basics, this is why people of all age can succeed. You'll see children, you see, they're on the monkey bars, pulling. Yeah, just sitting in. You know, it's a yeah. very sport. It really tests your mind, your your physical endurance, your mental mm-hmm. endurance, your yeah. speed from my um, and just the love for yourself because the people who do do this sport, we don't we're not getting paid. Hello, we need to figure out how we're, to we're not getting the the, the funding that this community deserves. Yeah. Um you know, I'm from New York, so the, it started here, the Mecca here. Yeah, and Hannibal here. King. Hannibal King started yeah. that off. You know? So, yeah. And I'm telling them, you just got to keep producing. The times are changing where the realists are really taking a stance and people are finding, are searching for those truths. Good. We don't no longer are, um, want, you know, the fake anymore. People yeah. want to Yeah, so, they do. You know, this is a real sport. Look at ESPN. They're losing they're losing ideas. They're doing pillow fights. They're you know I know, like, I saw that they're, they're like seriously. Like and these people aren't even like in shape, you know. He wants to grow up to do hit people with a pillow. No, this is something oh, it's crazy. Like money looking yeah. to it. Calisthenics is where it's at. The community is growing extremely as you see overseas yeah it's over um yeah it's, it's 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 over here but they need to put more into it as well september like, going to mexico to compete in the yes! Cal- um world tour it's in mexico united states and canada it's so amazing, i man. i mean representing the united states this is um yeah. the start of something beautiful yeah because Oh, they actually have state calisthenic stadiums. That's good. They don't have that over here. Mm. It's all gonna come. Yeah, all- it is. And and they do it. We do have the park. Like people go to the park and do it in the park now. Like when I when I look, there's um there's a park in America, um in Brooklyn called Wingate Park. They yeah. do like competitions down there, and I watch some girls do it. But yeah, I did that last like, last year. Yeah. I check it out. The Barbara's twelve. Yeah, it was really good. What do women have to go through? Yeah. And like, there's men just surrounding them. There's no women. There's not enough women there. No. But it's really good. I saw a guy holding a baby. He was yes. watching the girls, the baby sisters. I love yeah. it. The community feel, and everyone's just rooting for the two girls. Some yeah. people are like, get back, get back, make her breathe, oh. yo, make her breathe, yo. <laughs> I'm like. I was laughing. I'm like, yeah, I love that everyone's supporting those two athletes. You don't really get that. I, I would love to get back into that. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yes. it's, it's, it's amazing. Would you, would you do like CrossFit competitions as um, well? So um, when it comes to the, the different um, like tasks that they have to do, the running, the different things, uh, that's a yeah, but when it comes it's a lot, to isn't it? the technique, the the pull it's up, off. it's um, there's a people are getting hurt, they're getting injured. Yeah, <laughs> it's not safe. It must pull on your spine. Yeah, yeah, it's really not safe. It's really actually dangerous. Yeah. Um, um with that type of training. It's not really the best for someone who's just starting physical fitness. Yeah. Um, there's, you definitely... got to be someone that. who's experienced, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So you take baby steps. So mm-hmm. if you go there and you're on the bar, but you haven't, like, built up those muscles to actually do a pull-up without a resistance band. Mm. Um, 
you know, you're going to have injury. So that's why yeah. it's... I think it's it's, it's kind of like a spin off to calisthenics, and it is they've kind of stole bits. They stole bits no, from it. Exactly. Yeah, they've stole bits from it and, and made it a bit extra. And it's yeah. like, hmm, I know where you got that from. From real yeah. people <laughs> pulling bars. Story one day. Huh? We'll talk about that story one day. Yes, but, definitely. Yeah. They definitely did come to New York. Not yeah, me. yeah, you can see it. Yeah. You can see it. And it, um, I will say, because I don't care if I get in trouble, but I would say, I know <laughs> Europeans, I see yep. them come over to the gym, I see them come to the parks, and they're yeah. good. They can do it as well. They're amazing. But it's like, s- stop stealing, man. Stop stealing. Yeah. It's really upsetting when it's our passion. You know, you want to make money from it. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. But um, you, t- you train and do competitions. There's a girl that you train with as well. MB, MB, awesome or something. Yes. She's good, isn't it? She's She's good. My partner from Mexico. She's good. Yeah, she's my partner from Mexico. She she loves the sport. Um, She's definitely one of like the strong women. A lot of the women who do the sport are extremely strong. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's my partner. Like, she's definitely my yin to my yin. So, yeah, yeah, you can see that. It's lovely. I, you know, I'm a little bit more, like, subtle, more, like, pleasant. And she's like, yeah, we want Yeah, it. you can see. She's the opposite. <laughs> you got opposites attract, though. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like you feed off each other as well. Yes. I watched the competition that you guys did. Let's do pull-ups with, like, 20 kg hanging off your waist. And then you have to go straight yes. into dips. <laughs> dips. I'm like... Where was she resting? Like, and then when you're doing your dips, girl, oh my God, you're doing your dips and you, you've done about 10, 12 straight and then you stop. Three seconds, back. One <laughs> second, back. One second, back. I'm like, she's not going to rest. No. She's making, we, you push them know. out. I love that. I'm, st- I'm staring at my phone like this, you know, like, <laughs> I'm just on edge. I'm on edge when I'm watching you train because I get this feeling inside and I was like, you give me power. You give people power from just watching. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I felt like, yeah. I'm get- when I go gym, I'm doing pull-ups. It gives you that, that pep. So yeah. people go off as, as like arrogance or being cocky. No, it's just no. being cocky. It's, and just yeah. know- knowing your body. Yeah, when you conquer things, when you go from not having zero pull-ups to maxing out 25 pull-ups. Yeah. It's a beautiful you know, feeling. A little bit taller. Yeah. You know, you seem a little bit smarter. You're yeah. Be a bit wiser than most. You are. And you God, are. that, and people see that within you. And yeah. this I now. definitely see the God in you. Trust me. <laughs> I definitely see it, sis man. So, Thank um, you. when's your next competition, you say? Mexico. So, my next competition is March 26th at Parade Ground Park. That yeah. is Lockout Calisthenic League. This is the first of three competitions. Yeah. Of course of, I believe it's like six months. I believe they do it like every other month. Um, and it's 60 seconds reps max out. So it's 60 second dips, 60 second pulls, 60 second push. And they just added 60 second squats and 60 second burpees. And everybody, Ooh. burpees. They put burpees at the end, like say, like you're not gonna smash it, you know. Like I, I feel like he put it in there for me, squats and burpees. Because, yeah, you know, like because you're gonna be doing everything. So, the first couple exercises mainly body and core, yeah. you know. So towards the end, it's lower legs, low legs and core. But at the same time, you've got enough energy that you're gonna you're gonna sprint that out. <laughs> I wish I was there. Oh man, I'm I, when I'm in um, New York, I got. Find out if yeah. you got anything going on. Because my sons were there the other day. I've got okay. two sons. They were there the other day with their dad. And they went to Florida. And they're going to LA. They're going all around. And they're going to come back home and tell me all about the fun. I was going to be sitting there like, yeah, the house was an echo without you guys. You know? I, was, I, I got no life. I don't, I don't know what I'd do without them. How much tro- trophies do you have? Over a lifetime. To be honest, I don't really keep my trophies. You don't keep them! I, I do special ones. Okay, yeah. Um, you know, ones that kind of stand out, 
you um they're all very special to me oh. but i've been doing this for so long i've been i've been getting plaques and trophies since i was 10 i'm 37 now yeah oh that's, that's a I, whole room full of trophies if this i mean in the cow since i started calisthenics i want to say probably 20 plus trophies medal and medals and how long have you been doing it for um it will be three years coming at uh, april will make three years <laughs> wow wow yeah. you don't play you deserve no. that okay. you deserve that <laughs> it, 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 um, is there like a group of women that you know in america that they're just always doing bar work the same group are they well known do you have that uh, out there I, okay i wouldn't say a group but special um special individuals so uh -huh. you have Cindy Alexander, who I'm supposed to meet up with later on today. I'm actually going to Wingate Park today nice. to train her. She actually competed also in the bar ball. She's a beast. Um, there's women, but they're kind of like scattered. That's all I want them together. I, Imagine I, them together. I, wow. I, I, that's the goal. You've got to get them together. Get them together, sis. Trust me. That's going to be phenomenal history. Yes. You know? That, I got some stuff, you know, planned that's, you know, I got I'm some looking stuff forward to it. I'm looking forward to that. You fully informed, so it won't be any yeah. surprise to you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, I'm going to promote the hell out of that. We got to go about it a little bit differently. Yeah, formal. We got to get formal. And, um, I'm always there to extend people, you know, inspiration to others because I realize, um, you know, my staple in this, in this community. So yeah. I'm always, I always make sure that I'm super, oh. you know, super courteous, super patient, super polite. Um, not to the point where I'm losing myself, but mm. where I'm in a position where I'm leading. And yeah. I want to be led um, correctly, not with no misinformation, not being misformed or misled, um, but to be too, truly be truly true to themselves and be in their true essence and just, you know, listen to whatever their, what's in their divine purpose. And yeah. it's so, you know, whatever it is to you, we need you. Because yeah. this, at the end of the day, it's a bigger picture. So. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You're like the big sister I wish I had, you know? <laughs> wow, man. Why, why should women master their body weight? Because it's so important. Once you can master yourself, you and you know you can master those around you. And the people around you know you have the capability of doing these responsibilities. It's really not so much fooling yourself anymore. Be mm. honest with yourself. So you got you can't fake it. If you have a pull up in you, you have it in you. Yeah. If you don't, you don't. We can't hide be no more hiding behind the weights, no more hiding behind the tees, no more hiding behind, you know, the 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 editing, you know, hiding behind just the face. Show your full self. Yes. Not yourself. And that's what body weight exercise does for you. Mm. It makes you, it makes you, what are you going to do? What's your excuse? Why you can't lift yourself up? Yeah. Wow. So now, yeah. Ask yourself, what am I doing? It's true. I'm poor. I'm looking in this Bible. I'm looking at over and following this person for inspiration. I'm logging on to this person's site, spending money on this person, giving energy and time to this person. Guess what? This person is elevating and you still have yet to deal with yourself. Yes. That's why calisthenics is important. Because it gets you in the mind frame. It puts you in, in, in solitude. All right? That is needed. Yes. Self look in that mirror and push, push through those reps. Yeah. If you're doing 100 reps, you don't have to do 100 straight. Start with five at a time. Start yeah. with six at a time. Be consistent. Do yeah. lateral. Come back. Play, you know, learn yourself. You know, say I'm going to do 100 without the, out the day. And every time you think about, you know, every hour on the hour, you're going to say I'm going to do 10 push-ups. Yeah, Guess is what? that what the training did for you? 
Yes. And that's yeah. what I learned how to incorporate it, not just during training time, but this mm. is a look. So I'm cooking. What am I doing? I'm not going to sit on Instagram and watch everyone. No, I'm going to do some reps. You know, I'm going to do some plank calls. I'm going to master myself. Why? Because right now I don't want to do it. Why? Mm. Because they said working out in the kitchen, you're not supposed to do that. It's only for the gym. So yeah, feel like, yeah. okay, taking away those ideas and mm. then stuff for you that works for you that's gonna yeah. better you, in the you can do the same amount of dips in the kitchen that you could in the gym right by the way yeah so in, in on the counter I used right. to get the counter. <laughs> <laughs> and you feeling great and everybody's mm. at you like you have that glow what are you doing yeah. that imagine you, you yeah it is true it. it's true it does give you a natural glow Yes. And, and it's good when I kind of love when people when I'm walking on the road and people are like you gym right you you do your gym right you train yeah. it's like oh thank you you can see my hard work yes, yes. <laughs> like I know you eat I know you eat clean yeah 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 you can tell listen I've ate so much avocado this year already I, I should be one <laughs> look, look. I have one right here just waiting mm, I love <laughs> avocados. I used to hate them. Like I never used to eat them. No. And then one time, someone gave them to me with a bit of a little bit of sprinkle Himalayan salt, pink Himalayan salt on it. I just oh, it can work. And then when you try it with tomato, oh, it yeah. can work. Yeah, it can work, man. Dream. So, um, what do you think about the industry that you're in, um, or the fitness industry in a whole? What do you What do you think about it, and what's missing? Realness. Real authentic people, um, because I'm an yeah. actor, I can see right through someone's lack of authenticity, mm. their passionate creativity. Um, I think with social media, um, there's been a whirlwind of fitness models that have catapulted um, within heart high numbers off of looks alone. Um, physique and not saying that these women aren't strong which they are because we are all strong but um, you know there being a fine line between being feminine and being strong and still being sexy without being um, degrading yeah yeah you know? so um, I would like to see less of that I would like to see less of less videos where I'm just looking at the bum. Can you lift the camera that a bit higher? Can you lift it higher? Right. Like, I don't want to just look at her butt through this right. whole video. Like, yeah. I know she's got one. Show me something else. Like, I right. hate those ones where it's just, I've got a kettlebell in my hand and I'm just, ugh, squatting in front of it. I, I want to see you sweat, girl. Yeah. I want to see you actually reach your threshold and stop and then go back in right. again. And that's why your stuff is so real. It's so real. No one could ever go on your page and, like, they could never go on your page and be like, she don't train. Oh, oh, she's, she's not real. Like, just from the first post. Just watch one video. Just one video. Do you see what I'm saying? Even your physique. Yeah. You know, and when you're wearing that white bikini and you're, like, strutting. Yeah. <laughs> you're strutting. Yeah. No, that is my you look, yeah, you look good. You can tell. It's all around that, you know? Thank it's amazing, yeah, but yeah, I don't want to see those videos anymore. What would you add to the industry to make it better? What would I add? Um, money. Yeah. Private money. Really investing in the sport. Mm -hmm. Not caring about who comes to partake in the sport, mm -hmm. but investing in the athletes who are partaking in the sport. Mm -hmm. So being there, you know, having more prize money available, um, you know, not being afraid to network when holding an event. Um, I really wish people will really get inside themselves and heal and even reach out to me if they don't know how to go about it because yeah. what people don't understand that there's enough room for all of us because there will only be a selective few who are chosen, right? We can't do anything about it, but this is a whole kingdom of people. 
So supporting people, sharing contact, if you're an athlete, competing at those events. Mm. If you're having your athletes compete in the events. If, you know, anything that's dealing with calisthenics, we have to really, um, un we have to make it known to the world that this is ours and we are here. And if you want to be a part of it, you have to work with already the community that's already, that's already we built. Yeah, you're not going to come and just take a piece uh -huh. and try and to build. Oh, right. Yeah. And split people apart. Oh, we're going yeah. to put us uh, uh, against one another. Mm. No more. No. Of that. What's, what's your best experience and your worst experience so far? I will say my best experience is um, being able to meet um, some pivotal people within the calisthenic community, OGs like um, Giant of the Bartenders. And regardless of how people may be lost within their ways, the overall energy is the love for the community and the sport. Mm. And um, that is an energy that no one can deny. They may not want to sit at a round table just yet to, you know. Yeah. But um, it's, very, it's very embracing. It's very encouraging. It's very loving. On the negative aspect, I will say because people aren't healed, they don't do the work, people tend to get lost within their egos at times. Um, so it's just really just stepping away from um, the greed, the want, the jealousy, those lower vibrational yeah. feelings we're doing and okay. letting go and understand that the bigger part, picture is um, to bring enlightenment to the world that calisthenics is a world-pronounced sport and it should be recognized as an Olympic sport. And yeah, it should paid like Olympic athlete yeah you should do you should definitely you should especially as you don't you don't get that much time to rest right you guys have to you you're basically doing exercises where you have to get to your um, peak and then move on to the next one and get to your peak and then move on to the next one like it's so hard you know but it's uh, it's hard for you guys but it's not but it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, because yeah. you can do it. So That's it's not that hard, but, you know, you, you have to find ways to challenge yourselves, you know? When you start adding those weights to your waist and doing the pull-ups, I'm just like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to be standing next to you like, yes, go! I'll be so loud, like, just keep going, come on! <laughs> Where would you love to train? Like, what country would you love to train in? Ooh. And who would you love to work with, like shoot a video with? Oh, where would I love to train? I, you know what? Off You're going to say anywhere. I, <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> anywhere in the world. <laughs> but what country? Costa Rica, the rainforest. I like nature. Yeah. Let's put like some bars in the middle of the rainforest. Oh, that, that, that is so sweet. Part smile <laughs> that is beautiful to me i find that beautiful i would love to do that as well like you're um you wouldn't mind going glamping do you have glamping over there what's glamping Glamping. it's like um camping but you don't you're not in a hut it's Ooh. all it's glamour it's more glamorous you know oh, yeah. you're still outside in nature but you got a, like a beautiful heart with extra led lights and stuff like that it's really yeah. nice yeah, you should try it. When when you come over to UK for your competition, um, message me and I'll show you about glamping, yeah? Okay, When no you come problem. to the UK, because I know you're coming over here soon. <laughs> um, do you... <laughs> I'm praying, I'm hoping. Do you follow um, any other trainers online? Who inspires you? Ooh, who inspires me? Yeah. I saw your friend bigging you up yesterday. Who's that? Um, Some guy... Um. Shit, I forgot his name, so I'm so sorry. Oh, um, uh, But he can, he can work. He yes. Can work. Like, he's, he's strong. Yo, he is amazing. Yeah, he's he is. 
he's been trying to link up with me for some years. Yeah, he's um, good. Trying to do a collaboration. So, um, yeah. It's going to happen. Guy, he's definitely one person that I watch because um, he's, a, you know, he's a beast. He's a beast. But I, I try not to watch too many people. Okay. <laughs> Honest. No, I get um, it. I get that. I get that. It can you put know. you off sometimes. It can put you off yourself sometimes. Yeah, or you might create yeah. something. You might create something because of that. Because you saw yeah. that. Where well, you want yeah. it to be from you, isn't it? Oh, yeah. that's me. Nah. I, yeah. Kind of like, if I do watch anybody, their training is very similar to mine. Um, but Same. I don't get over it. I'm not like, oh, this is how, you know. Mm. But that's good, though. Part, you know, it just comes to me, and I just do it. So mm. that's that's the natural way, the right way to create. And uh, what do you do when you're not training? <sighs> when I'm not training, I'm being yeah. a mom. Yeah, you've been a mom. Oh, amazing! Yeah. The best job in the world. Best it's not even job. a job. It's not even a job. I shouldn't call it a job. I keep doing that. I'm it's... trying to fix how I say things, but it's the best responsibilities. It's so, and, um, it's so fulfilling. Oh, God, yeah. You know, my daughter, she's taking up after me. She, you know, she has some pull I see her watching you on the bar. Yeah. <laughs> she's just there, like, swinging her arms. And you're just up there. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, so, yeah, I, be... I spend a lot of time with my daughter. So if it's not building her, you know, building on my craft and my passions, um, learning you know, there's always things to learn. So what's if it's um, exercise? Um, yeah, your daughter's going to make you have to sit down. Yeah? When she comes out, if she starts doing Callum and Phoenix and she's trained by you, I feel sorry for the world. She has three pull-ups. Because uh, she's very, and we're not taking those. That's no deep. Work. She, does she can work. do three pull-ups. Yeah, without me. And she's four. Yeah. <laughs> she's a super, super child. She's a Girl super child. Support, you know? Yeah. Kids, I would love to see, you know, more kids incorporated, more parents being um, educated of the beneficial, the benefits of having calisthenics within their child. Of their young age. Yeah. Whether if they're in not because you know when it mm. comes to when people look at me this is not something that's been I've been working on for five six seven eight ten years this is something that I've been building on over the course of my lifetime yeah. I've been age so yeah. when you see me like yeah I can help you but like this is with me for a long time mm. so you me when I'm 40 and 50 years old, being able to do you pull you know, up, yeah, yeah, we're still gonna be doing it. Like, yeah. I don't see myself ever not training. The only way I would, no, I'm not even gonna wish that on me. I'm always gonna train, I, even right. if it's just, even if it's just curls for my wrist to strengthen mm -hmm. my wrist. I don't care. I'm always gonna be doing something. I, I have to. It's not an addiction. It's a lifestyle for us. You yeah. know, it's a lifestyle. Um. So, uh, um, what's what's your favorite book right My now? Favorite book? That is a good question. I don't think I have a favorite book. No. No, not not that I could think of. I haven't read a. I am a search for a book. Um, you know, when I do read, it's more like I'm drawn to it. I just come across it. I don't really go searching for the book. book. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not kind of like that. I'm like that. If I got a question, I look for a book for the answer. <laughs> I don't go to Google. But like if I got a science question, I go to one of my books and I try and find the answer there. But I read. I like to read. Um, I, I like to read. Um, like, like mysteries and stuff like that. But I'm more movies girl, like Marvels. I prefer to just go cinema. Yeah, but I do read. I do read. Um, there's a different type of respect that women have in your industry. Why do you think that is? Is it just because we're women? 
um, because we're doing what people consider impossible. We're doing things what people consider to be masculine, to be manly, only for men. Uh. So when you see a woman doing it, and to still hold that femininity, you're breaking barriers. You're breaking generational curses. That was and a perfect answer. Perfect. It's <laughs> so true. It's so true. Did you say you're, you're breaking generational barriers and curses? Yeah. You are. Yes. You are. You are. And you, um, I realized when I was doing a lot of manly training, um, I used to train with a lot of guys. I didn't mm -hmm. get a lot of women approaching me, you yeah. know, so I approached them. And mm -hmm. I think that's what made me so popular in my gym. I approached every woman with an ego, every woman who gave me a dirty look, every woman who saw me, <laughs> but I, I, I saw me, but you acted like you didn't see me. But I saw you see me and you act like you did. All right, it's cool. I'm gonna, as soon as I finish, I'm coming over to you. I used to face <laughs> everyone, you know. Awesome. I don't care. Even the old ladies who were like, you don't know nothing, you're too young. I would go over to her and educate her and what the times are like now and that we still appreciate your race and we still appreciate your time and your generation, but this is what it is now. Right. It's the future, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's going to happen to me one day, so yeah, a young girl. Yeah, yeah, but I want to be there for the young girls who look like me who want to train and right. go yeah. all the way, you know? I see you starting something really big over there, really, really big, and helping out millions of people. Just, just don't ever make anything outside of yourself stop you from doing it, you know? Okay. So um, what we're going to see from you this year, before we go, what we're going to see from you, my hair looks a mess. <laughs> Natural rasta, <What>? you know? <laughs> <laughs> what, um, what we're going to see from you this year? <laughs> I definitely have um, some things in the work. Um, definitely seeing my platform catapult. Make sure you guys check me on um, my YouTube channel, Miss Naima Journey. Yes, will. We are finishing up the 31 day full body transformation challenge, okay. which is the exact method that I use to get my first pull up. And I still use. Um, so it's building that platform. Like I said, I'll be going over to Mexico to compete. You'll see me um, on a lot of net. You're going to be seeing me on a lot of networks, doing a lot of collaborations. I don't yes, to, please. Uh, you know, you know, say too much, but yeah, I mean, it's already here. It's already. It's happened. a good active year. It's already set in stone. Yeah. So I'm, you know, putting on the seatbelt. And I'm here for the ride. And yeah, man. It's going to be a good ride. And I believe you're going to have a great, great life. Just because of who you are and what you do, you deserve it all. And I'm so grateful that you took the time out to get back to me and message me because a lot of my sisters ain't getting back to me, you know? Like, a lot. And I'm just like, girl, why? Like, we are, we're all one people in my, in, my, in my eyes. So I just feel like... I'm so grateful for the opportunity to speak to you and get to know you and mm -hmm. um, build a network, you know. So if I come to um, New York now, I'll probably feel a little bit safe knowing that I know one person. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So it's, oh. it's one of those ones. I'm just so yeah. grateful, man. And um, I wish you all the best. Would you give some advice for someone who looks like us who wants to start getting stronger doing the bar work? What would you um, advise them? Um, trust the journey, trust the process, enjoy the journey, enjoy the process, be kind and gentle to yourself. Yes. Okay. Yes. And it feels right, it is right. And if it's not, take it out to the trash and throw it out. Yeah. Throw it out. Well, thank you so <laughs> much, Naima. I will stay in touch <laughs> online and I, um, I wish you a beautiful year for you and your beautiful daughter. I'll Thank speak you. to you soon. Bye. You're Thank welcome. You. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.